Another form of wheel which has been with us for countless centuries is the potter's wheel. It was on one of these crude wheels that an early inventor first created the flower pot. Just what I wanted. <laughs> What happened then? What happened? <laughs> now you get this ball here. Good evening. <laughs> you get this ball here like this, you see? Uh, anything I can do for you? Possibly, yes. My name is Winterbottom. <laughs> That's a bit chilly for you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, don't mind me, Mr. Cooper. Carry on. Oh, thank you. I'm just doing a trick with the ball, you know. <laughs> just turn it there like that, you see. Push it in the hand there like that. Boop! Disappears there. Go in your pocket. And then it is there like that, look. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three balls there like that. Now watch this very, very closely. Here we go. I want you to pay a lot of attention to this, because later on I shall ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> Place one ball in my pocket, like that. One ball in the hand and one in the pocket. How many's in the hand? <coughs> one. No, look, we'll start again. Three balls there like that, look. <laughs> uh, well, I'd do a look. One, two, three. How many's in the hand? Quick. <laughs> two. No, one. How's that? Up. <laughs> uh, look, who are you? I'm a sensor. My card. Well, there's nothing on it. Naturally, it's been censored. <laughs> Besides, it saves me a fortune in printing costs. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Eight of spades, or nine of spades. Does anything, anything I say come down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I say, what are you doing here? Well, it's my job to see that nothing offensive creeps into the show. Well, no one's watching. Why don't you creep back out again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sharp tonight. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Cooper, have you read the ITA rule book? No, but I saw the film with Doris Day and Bezerath. <coughs> <coughs> Bone. <laughs> Got the bone stuck in my throat then. <laughs> Very amusing. The rule I'm uh, referring to is the one which says that no offensive material must be used in television shows. Now, those glasses, for instance, those, those ought to go. Why? Well, dancers suggest drinking. Drinking suggests alcohol, and alcohol suggests alcoholism. I think we'd better get rid of those. <coughs> Family show, Mr. Cooper. Carry on, please. Thank you. <coughs> right, for the next trip, before I start, I'd like to show you there's nothing up my sleeve. See? <coughs> there is nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a trick with the packed cards. Uh, no. Just, 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 no, what's the matter now? Just a moment, Mr. Cooper. Not the cards, please. Why not? The cards suggest gambling, and that's one of the evils of our society. No, I better get rid of those. It's a family show, remember? <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of flowers, pair of scissors, watch very closely now. Stop, stop! Now, what's the matter now? What are you doing? Well, just a bunch of flowers. Just a bunch of flowers? Just a bunch of flowers? And you're going to destroy them by cutting their heads off with scissors? Well, it's only a trick. I mean, I'll go boof all like that and they'll peer back on there again. Ooh, murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a gun. Now watch very closely. Stop! <laughs> no guns. No, no. Guns definitely out. That incites violence. No, I can't take it anymore. 
I can't, that's all I can take from you. What? I've had enough. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I've had, I've just, I've just had enough. What do you mean? Hey! Oh! No! No! Oh, stop! Oh! No! Put me down! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Mr. Mr. Who are those people? Well, that was my wife and kids. <laughs> you always come to the studio. It's a family show, remember? <laughs> Well, comrade, I am going to show you various articles connected intimately with the secret mission you are about to embark on. I want you to look at them very carefully, photograph them indelibly in your memory, and then destroy them. You understand? Good, comrade. Here is the type of passport that your contact will be carrying. Look at it very carefully. Photograph each page indelibly on your memory. <laughs> Good, comrade. Now destroy it. Are you mad? No lights. They are watching our every move. Destroy it. Destroy it. <laughs> destroy it. <laughs> Here is the plan of the secret airfield that you have to attack. Not the position of machine gun posts and security points. Look at it very carefully. Photographic indelibly in your memory. <laughs> Destroy. <laughs> Destroy. It. Here is the microfilm of the X-15 rocket. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Photograph each memory cell in your mind. Destroy it. <laughs> well done, Kobe. Here is a model of the X15. <laughs> Not the box! <laughs> the rocket. It was designed by Dr. Sigmund Freud. It is one of the most effective rockets that has ever been sent into upper atmosphere. <laughs> Look at it carefully. Photograph it from every angle in your memory. <laughs> Destroy it! Destroy it. Now, comrade, you have inwardly digested every piece of information. <laughs> now you have inwardly digested every piece of information. <laughs> One last instruction, comrade. Repeat. <coughs> Yes? You say your husband was taking a bath? I'm very pleased to hear it, yes. What? And the boiler exploded? Yes, it does sound very serious. Just a moment. Uh, look, where's your husband now? 16 Brown Hills Road. And 17 Brown Hills Road. <laughs> and 18 Brown Hills. <laughs> yes, fine. Well, I'll be over as soon as I finish this morning's surgery. Fine. Goodbye. <laughs>
poor fellow all over the place. <laughs> Hello? Send the next one in, please. Thank you. How do you do? I don't think we've seen you here before, have we? No, no. No, well, uh, all right, are you? Yes, well, what can I do for you? Well, I, see, I, you've got to help me, Doctor, because I do feel run down, you see. Oh, really? 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 Any idea why? Yes, because I was run down, Doctor. See what it's like? <laughs> Uh, tell me, uh, did you get his number? No, but I recognise that laugh anyway. Yes. Uh, just a moment, sir. Look, I am very busy now. What do you want? Well, you see, I, I come for a checkup. Yes. Because I'm going away for two weeks, and I want to be fit. You see. I see. I see. Yes. And since his accident, when mm -hmm. I got run down, mm -hmm. I can't straighten up. Not at all. No, I'm like that all the time. That's dreadful. Would you would you care to sit down? Can you sit down? Well, I can't. I like. All right. It, but well, you can't. better just remain standing then. Yes, just a second. Would you? Uh... It's not right, is it? Walking about. No, like no, this? no, no. No, I feel, I I feel a lot of people can, you know. most concerned. Yes, I'll just I'll take a few details if I yes. may. Uh, may I have your name? Uh, no, thanks. I'm already married. <laughs> no, I. What What is your name? Oh, uh, Thomas G. Cooper. Thomas G. Uh, what is the G for? Uh, Gladys. Gladys. Yes. Uh, date of birth? Uh, 8th, 9th, 10th of March. The what? Well, I was a very long baby, you see. Fine, well, Mr. Cooper, now, uh, height? Uh, six foot four. Well, I was, but I'm not now. You see, no, I'm walking about six like foot that. four. Yes, I understand. About five foot three now, yeah. so, haven't you? Yes, yes, thank you. Well, I'll put them both down and we'll do a sort of a permutation later on, shall we? Yes. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, weight? Well, I'm not going anywhere. No, 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 no. I, I mean, I, no, never mind. Look, just a second. Um, <clears throat> we have a profession. Uh, comedian. Really? I never thought so. <laughs> Age? 28. <laughs> yes, I see what you mean. Very good, yes. Now, uh, whom shall we uh, notify in case of your death? Um, F. Fadshaw Chiswick. Fine. Who is he? Undertaker. Would <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you mind if we, we change the subject? Would you mind? Well, I mean, no, tell yeah. me, do you smoke and drink? Oh, yes. You do? But not both at the same time. <laughs> Otherwise, I get the cigars all soggy, you see. Yes, of course. This bandage on your hand now, how did you hurt that? I didn't. Hmm? No, I hurt my nose. Then why didn't you put the bandage on your nose? Well, I tried, but I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> it was like that all the time, like that. Yes, I'm sure. Well, how, like how did you sustain this nasal injury? Well, I, w I was, I w I was uh, picking a daisy. Well, how could you hurt yourself picking a daisy? Well, the daisy was on the ground, you see, yes. and I was on top of a roof. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to regret this. What were you doing on the roof? Well, I, I was, I was drilling holes. I'm going to regret this as well. <laughs> Why were you drilling holes in the roof? Well, because the roof was leaking. Yes. See, but not in the right places. You see. What do you mean? <laughs> yes? What do you mean? The right places. Well, because I couldn't get the rain, couldn't come into the bucket. <laughs> You could fix my teeth as well, couldn't you? Perhaps I'd better just examine. Now, how long have you been in this position? Well, I've been well, ever since the accident. Since the accident, yes. Yeah, I, I think you're very likely to get another one, too. Just a moment. Yeah. Now, I'll just uh, have a look at you. I think I know what the trouble is. We'll just really? undo the coat yes. all the way down. Yes. Yes, it's a very acute case of, um, well, Crobatius nicobocoritis. What's that? It means you've got your tie caught in your zip. There we are. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Now, another great trick. Will you help me, darling? Thank you. Do you sit down there, please? Yep.
不是不是，我大爷说他妈要大爷，我说大爷，我我爷他说他妈要大爷，妈呀，我说好好大爷，我大黑嘛黑嘛大爷，我我大傻，我要大宝。He said good evening. What are you doing here? I come to give you your lesson in judo and karate. Not here, my dressing room. Oh, this not your dressing room? No, it's an orchard. <laughs> I don't know where I get on. I don't. No, no. You know anything about judo? No, boxing. Yes. Oh, because I come from a long line of boxers. Really? Except my father. He's a cocker spaniel. I suppose I should stand like that. Why? Not for long. No. Anyway, what do you know about judo? Oh, I, I got black belt. Well, I wear yellow socks, but I don't tell people. No, but supposing you're attacked by big strong man, what you do? I'll fight them off with the strength of ten men. Oh, how you do that? I get nine other men to help me. <laughs> no, but supposing ten men attacked you, what would you do? About fifty miles an hour. <laughs> do you know? I used to know a Japanese expert, judo oh, yeah? and karate. Only that high, and he took on ten men all at once, and about, they were about eight foot high. All at once, he took them on. What happened? They murdered him. <laughs> Now I give you demonstration of karate. Right, hot hot. Shakespeare. Look at that skin it. Good evening, sir. Good evening. And how are you this evening? Ah, uh, a little bit rough. A little bit rough. <laughs> Tell us, were you clever as a child? Oh, very clever. Yes, very clever. <laughs> As a child. Clever? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, it's very clever. Tell you. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, when I was two years old, I memorized the whole of the Cyclopedia. Really? Yeah. Nobody believed me. I, I couldn't talk. <laughs> Of course, you became a great playwright. Perhaps had luck had something to do with this. Were you always lucky? No, no, no. I was very unlucky when I was a child. Really? Very unlucky. Once I was given a rocking horse, and it died. <laughs> no, but, uh, have you uh, have you got a favourite among your plays? Yes, I have two favourites. Oh, what are they? Uh, Romeo and Juliet. I see. Of course, uh, you were an actor as well as a playwright, weren't you? Oh yes, mm. yes, yes. I was in uh, Othello. Othello. Yes. Yeah. You know that wonderful speech. To be or not to be—that is the question. No, I'm sorry. That's from Hamlet. Oh, is it? No wonder I didn't get an answer. <laughs> And uh, what was the first night you enjoyed? <laughs> what was the what? <laughs> Come fly with me. Oh dear! <laughs> What was the first night you enjoyed most? The 
first night. Yes. Well, what else in the Roman play? Oh, yes. Uh, Titus Andronicus. Well, I had a few. I just... No, no. <laughs> Turning again to your early life, at the age of 21, I see you were outlawed for poaching. Yeah. What was it, deer, pheasant, hare? Ah, that was my best play here. <laughs> you never wrote hare. I certainly did. And also The Sound of Music. What about Rodgers and Hammerstein? I wrote that as well. <laughs> One thing I would like to know, sir. Why have you got three pairs of glasses? Ah, well, that's for short sight. Yes. And that's for long sight. Uh, what's the other pair for? To find the other two pairs. <laughs> Now then, you, sir, you've written plays and poems and sonnets, and what is your favourite piece? Uh, Anne Hathaway. Oh, yes, Anne Hathaway. In 1582, you married Anne Hathaway and had three children, didn't you? Yes, one of each. Really? How did you first meet Anne Hathaway? Well, she was outside a shop, picking her teeth. Oh, I see. And when she picked them, she went in and bought them. <laughs> Before you go, there's one thing I would like to know. Yes. If you had your life to live all over again, would you still be a writer? Oh, certainly, certainly. Because the pen is mightier than the sword. I say, do you really believe Of that? course. There's a sword there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the pen. I see. <laughs> Sahida Wahada Wahala Wahala. On the floor. On the floor. Yes, all right. Other backs. Oh. Sorry, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I'm glad we found our jackets. Yes. Where's the old one? So all of us have one. All of us have one. Would you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, ah, ah. Oh, good morning. I'm collecting for the Prisoner's Aid Society. Oh, just a minute. Have you been a brooter? Yes, I have. Have you got any of these? Funny enough. Yes, I have a lot of them. You, one Carlos, Mendoza, Filippo, Pancho, Lopez, Romero, Nica, Gonzalez? Si, senor. Well, I have a bullet with your name on it. <laughs> Yes, the flying doctor here. Okay, I'll be right over. <laughs> I am the Scarlet Pimpernel. They seek me here, they seek me there. I owe them money everywhere. I never recite the same poem backwards. I'm the Scarlet Pimpernel. <laughs> they seek me here, they seek me there. I owe them money everywhere. <laughs> where the devil is Sir Henry Fuchs? He's late. <laughs> what time is it? Look at that. It's stopped. <laughs> no wonder. It's too much sand. Psst, psst. How dare you! Anyway, who are you? It is I, Sir Andrew Fuchs, your confederate, disguised as a French peasant. Oh, I like your eggs. <laughs> New, aren't they? Anyway, you're late. Yes, I'm sorry, Sir Percy. I've been to see Yvette. What's about? You got the stamper? <laughs> I must tell you something. Something has just come through the grapevine. What was that? A bunch of grapes. <laughs> I'll tell you this, I know this for a fact that the Queen is going to be executed in the yard. No. Yes. And if wet, 
in the Boy Scout's hat. <laughs> but how are you going to rescue her? I've got a plan. A plan. See this cake? Yes. I'm going to send this to the Bastille. What's in it? I'll tell you what's in it. Yes. Sugar, eggs and flour. <laughs> Self-raising flour. Sir so, Percy, I must leave you. Why? Here comes Citizen Chauvelin. So there you are. Yes. Ah. Sir Percy Blakeney. Citizen Shovel. I miss Chauvel. <laughs> Call a spade a spade. Tap me, Trimble, Crip McCodfist, Paramig, Paddawig, and I apologize. Why? Well, I may have said something dirty. <laughs> anyway, stand up. You are, st you are standing. Of course. Right. How are you? You working? Well, in my capacity as the chief of the French Republic Police, I am searching for a mysterious Englishman who calls himself the Scarlet Pimpernel and who has been bedeviling the whole of France by snatching away the aristocrats from the eager jaws of Madame Guillotine. Well, that's the plot. Let's get back to the jokes. <laughs> All right. What brings you here, Sir Percy, to France? To buy a new suit. Yes? I think the clothes are wonderful here in Paris. <laughs> Jamais Paris. Never say Paris. Toujours always say Paris. Ah, oh, Paris. Paris. <laughs> what kind of material is your suit going to be? Harry Tweed. <laughs> <laughs> if those are the jokes, let's get back to the plot. I, Jacques Chauvelin, have a trap for the Pimpernel. Oh. I call it my Jacques trap. <laughs> Can I count on your support? <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I'm going to have a big party. Yes, a big party. And I would like you and Lady Blakely to come. I am going to throw a ball. Who's better? <laughs> no, no, no. It's impossible. We can't come. Why not? 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 I'll tell you why not. Why not? Yes. Why not? Because I have to rescue the Queen from the Bastille. Oh! Ah. <laughs> that is when you made your mistake. I know, I know. I have had you under surveillance all the time. Of course, you are the one. You left your fingerprints in the Place de Vendôme. I did? Yes. So that's where they are. I've been looking for them all over the place. <laughs> why should I stand here and listen to all this? Besides, I'm going to arrest you in no, the name of France. Just a moment. I tell you, look. Hold your hand out. <coughs> Cards. Right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cards. Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cards there. Correct. All different cards. Yes, that's right. Now, I tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'll take these 15 cards here, place them inside your pocket. Yes, inside my pocket. Yes, and I'll place right. these 15 cards in there. Yes. And now, I'm going to make three cards jump from this pocket to your pocket. That's impossible. I am... Did it! Did you feel that? Nothing. Did it! Yes. I'm sorry. I felt that. I didn't start yet. Oh, it hurt. Right, okay. Good night. I've done it. That's Done good. it. Yes. Right, now watch this very, very closely. I had 15, right? 15 cards. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Brilliant. See what you've got now. Certainly. Hold that. Tell them on hand. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-one. <laughs> What? Percy, Citizen Chauvelin's men are coming to arrest you. You must leave France immediately. I've packed your case. But Percy, all the ports, they are guarded. How can you escape? I shall go in disguise. I can be anybody. Anybody. An admiral. <laughs> Rear admiral. <laughs> <sighs> A batsman. A batsman. Bowler. <laughs> Fast bowler. <laughs> Get those elevators off the street. <laughs> 701, 702, 703, 704. Have you seen Roger Moore anywhere? <laughs> And I'll let you
excuse me, Tommy, but uh, I thought we ought to have a little bit of comedy about now in the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 what do you have in mind? Well, uh, you know, nothing obvious, because really I'm sick to death of some of the things that comedians do, you know, to try and get laughs. It's just ridiculous. For instance, I mean, I've seen them do things, I've seen them do things like this, to get a laugh. Yeah, well. now, now, wait a minute. <laughs> I ask you, is that funny? <laughs> No, it's not funny. That's not funny. It's not funny. Now, is that funny? <laughs> no, that's not funny either. That's not funny. Is that funny? No, that's not funny. <laughs> is that funny? No, that's not funny. It's not funny, is it? It's not funny. <laughs> Funny. Oh, that is funny. I like that. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, that is funny. Demonstration of karate. <laughs> Solid plank of wood. Did you hear that joke about the karate expert that joined the army? The first day he saluted, he killed himself. <laughs> Now, the idea of the trick is this. Three swords. One, two, three. I should hit the ties, my assistant, in a moment. Pick her up and place it on the three swords. Like that. As I take two swords away, I should be suspended in midair on one sword. <coughs> I shall now hypnotize And A lot of doctors say that hypnotism is from the mind. Well, it's not. It's from the hips. <laughs> Sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> your eyes are getting heavier. And your back aches. Your eyelids are getting heavier and heavier. Sleep. 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 <laughs> You're now hypnotized. Yes. <laughs> Pull back. Oh, shit. This one needs changing. Uh, excuse me. Yes, sir? Have you got a room for a night? Blankety blank, blankety blank, bother, flippy heck. <laughs> Me lud, what on earth are you doing? I'm swearing in the jury. <laughs> I think we should proceed smartly to our first case, my lud. <sighs> Quite right. <laughs> Have you got a chair? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right, call in the accused. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I'm innocent. 
I plead the unwritten law. And what's that? How should I know? It hasn't been written yet. <laughs> <laughs> no. Raise your right hand. No. Why not? Cause you tickle me. <laughs> Prisoner in the dock. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, even though it may incriminate you? Yeah. To it. <laughs> if that much, is it not true that at the early age of eight you were arrested and convicted for breaking and entering a jewellery store? Yes, my love, but don't blame me, because my mum and dad couldn't afford to buy me a pair of glasses. A pair of glasses? What's that got to do with it? Well, I couldn't see the copper coming, could I? Huh? <laughs> However, this time I'm definitely innocent. <laughs> Absolute lot of lies. I have here Exhibit B. Is Exhibit B. <laughs> That's real evidence for you. Now, do you know what I'm going to do? No, no, don't, don't. Don't send me to the clink. Silence! Judge Cooper will now pronounce sentence. Sentence. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> and where do you propose to send this young scoundrel, Milad? Holloway. Milad, I object. Mil Holloway is a... Holloway is a woman's prison. You can't send this, this man to Holloway. You mind your own business. Goodbye, all. I'm off to Holloway. I'm off to Call Monsieur Pierre. Call Monsieur Pierre. Call Monsieur Pierre. <laughs> he doesn't send a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Monsieur Pierre? Oui, Monsieur. <laughs> no chance, no chance. <laughs> Are you a hairdresser in the Mayfair? No, oh, my way. Yes? Well, give us a powder, a powder will you? And give it a short batting size. What's next? Well, surely you know, my lad. It's the case of... Uh, oh, yes, yes, yeah. I know, yes, yes. Don't tell me, I know, yes. <laughs> I, just yes. I know. It's Rex versus McTavish. That's right. That's Rex versus McTavish. <laughs> that's right, isn't it? Yes, that's right, yes. <laughs> Rex versus McTavish. McTavish. This is Rex. <laughs> my lad, I would like to call the accused Jock McTavish. Well, so you should. That's his name. <laughs> What's next? Oh, Dr. Cabbage, of course it's Dr. Cabbage. I'll call him myself. Doc, you're on. <laughs> Stop pushing, stop pushing. I'd like to say here and now that I don't recognise this coat. And why not? Well, you've had it painted since the last time I was here. <laughs> Who are you? Very well, thank you. Who are you? <laughs> I've just thrown the book at him. <laughs> are you Jock McTavish? <laughs> yes, from 22 Slow Street, Glasgow. That is correct. <laughs> are you saying play cards on the night of the murder? That's right. With friends? That's correct. You said three friends sent you, Mac I Tavis. did not. Your name is Mac Tavis, isn't it? That is correct. And it was three friends? I was not. You were playing dominoes? Cards. In Chiswick? No. Oh. What's next? What's next? The next witness, my lad, is Bonnie Devere, that cold-blooded hussy who poisoned her husband. Oh! Bring him in, I'll put him in jail for life! For life! Delight! <laughs> 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 Milad, here is a letter written by Bonnie de Beer in which she cold bloodedly states her intention to murder her husband. Exhibit A. I'll read it. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie de Beer. This is real evidence. It is. Is this the only ev evidence? That is the only evidence. Good. 
Case dismissed. <laughs> well, it's almost time to end another day in Jolly Judge Cooper's court. But before we go, here's Justice Cooper to sentence his last accused of the day. Roses are red, violets are blue. There's 22 years in the scrubs for you. <laughs> Poetic justice. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, butting in. I'm uh, I'm Brown from the Sun. Really? <laughs> well, you look dead white to me. Do you mind if he uh, Do you mind if he takes a picture? Certainly not. Wonderful. Certainly. Thank you. How many want? Six. Six. Oh, six. Yes. Take a look. You got a piece of rope? Piece of rope, pair of scissors. I mean scissors. <laughs> <laughs> you got the rope in half. There's one, two, two pieces of rope. I place them in the right hand. I squeeze. And now we have one long single piece of rope. I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> now I tell you what I'd like to say. What are you looking for? My wristwatch. Where do you lose it? Out in the cloakroom. <laughs> well, what are you looking here for? There's more light here. <laughs> A pack of cards. Now, the idea of this was very, very closely. This will take me 15 long years to do this trick. 15 long years. I shall spread them like that all the way along there. Like that. And I shall catch them like that. It looks good. <coughs> 15 years to take me to do this. <coughs> all the way along there like that. And I'm oof, <laughs> like that. Or I may go that way. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help laughing. I know what's coming next. <laughs> Fifteen years wasted. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you very much. Very much. Nice. Two handkerchiefs knotted together like that. Empty bag. Right? I place a knotted handkerchief there like that. And I go. Aha! Aha! Thank you! <laughs> On behalf of Her Majesty's government, I present my credentials. For... <laughs> oh, 
On behalf of Her Majesty's Government, I present my credentials for the negotiation of the new oil treaty between Sheikh El Sheikh and Great Britain. Before we begin the negotiations, it is the custom of our country, the Sheikhdom of Mukmuk, to drink a welcoming glass in welcome. Now, the question I would like to ask you is this. Before we ask the questions, it is the custom of our country, the Sheikhdom of Mukmuk, to drink to a great and glorious friendship and to your great and beautiful queen, Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> and not forgetting Prince Albert. Albert. <laughs> now the question... <clears throat> the question I'd like to ask you is this... Before we ask the questions, it is customary in our country to drink first to our beautiful, underprivileged country, the Sheikhdom of Mukmuk. Now the question I'd like to ask you... Before this, we drink... Uh, what before is we it? Ask, what is this? Mm, what? Oh. This is Zumbala. 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 I heard you, I heard you, I heard you. Zumbala. All right, all right. Zumbala. All right, all right, all right, all right. You got me at it now. What's it made of? What is it made of? Yes. Frogs, camels, goats, that's enough, that's enough. I don't mind the frogs, I like that, I don't like that. I don't like the other bit, yeah. Now we drink to our sheikh. Long may he reign! And long may you shake. <laughs> <laughs> now the question I'd like to ask you is this. Before we have the questions, we drink again. We drink to our ancestors. To our great and glorious ancestors. And to the union in paradise. You got a lot of camels? <laughs> To the union of our ancestors! To the ancestors' union! Shumbala! <laughs> your medals, they're dissolving! Look at your medals! Your Excellency! Your Excellency! Your... Oh, yes, <laughs> now, now, Your Excellency, yes. what is the question you wish to ask His Majesty? Well, on behalf of the Majesty's Government, I'd like to ask you this question. First... First on the left, second on the right. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. Uh, um, I, I want a job. What's your trade? Uh, crime. <laughs> I'm a crook. Fingers figging. Arm robbery a speciality. Two guns, no waiting. What about qualifications? Yes, I have here. Um, a degree from the Chiswick University. There isn't a university at Chiswick. There is if you're a forger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very good, very good. <clears throat> well, you know, this is a very bad time of year, I'm afraid, for crime. The best I can offer you is just one burglary. It's a local job, 10.45, Tuesday, 84 Kings Avenue. It's quite a small window, but it's an opening, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I don't like working nights. You see, I've got a bad chest. And another thing. What's that? I live at 84 Kings Avenue. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you're going to be choosy, that's just what's wrong with you fellas, is it? You want a job, you come here, we offer you one, and then you turn it down. Well, that's all there is. You just take it or leave it. Well, there's nothing else. Hand over the dough money. <laughs> it's nice to be working again. <laughs> Excuse me, old chap. Would you run me to the station? Certainly, sir. <laughs> May I join you? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Cooper. The doctor says you can go home. Go home? When? Right away. Great. <laughs> I love these dinner dances. <laughs> Here's a trick now, look with the cattle. I'd just like the cattle here like that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. What a lovely audience. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. See, now, the idea of the trick is this. I'm just going to... <laughs> I should go like that, you see, and then after. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I'm the farmer. Well, go to blazes. Oh. <laughs> That's very nice. I'm the studio farmer. Now, look, the moment I saw that fire in our lovely studio, I thought to myself, Doreen? Yeah. <laughs> Is your name Doreen? Yeah. There was a mix up in the maternity hospital, you see. <laughs> poor, poor Alf Bloggs. <laughs> Who's Alf Bloggs? The girl next door. <laughs> Awful. Awful yes. You don't seem to realise, a lot of people don't realise, it's not, no, no, I'm sorry, it's no laughing matter, don't realise the hazards of fire. Now, a lot of people don't. Oh, but I wouldn't say that. A no, I wouldn't say that, because a friend of mine found out. He rushed out of the house and he shouted, fire, fire! What happened? And somebody shot him. <laughs> yeah. oh. Hey? Well, it's a bit sad, that, isn't it? It is a bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> got, a, got a laugh, though, doesn't it? Got a laugh? Well, well that's, that's his maybe, but, I mean, there is still this question of the hazard of fire. Now, for example, do you have a guard in front of you of fire? I did have, but uh, I got... There was no good. Why? Well, I kept tripping over his rifle. <laughs> Listen, if you, uh, would you excuse me now, because I'm in the middle of a show. What show are you watching? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not watching this show, I'm doing the show. Oh, I see. No, if you don't mind, please. Thank you very much. Well, there's no need to be like that. I've just got to go on with this trick. There's no need to be like that. We've all got our little jobs to do, you know. Yeah, I, I our appreciate little that. niche. We're all a little cogs in the world of television. I don't think there's any need to brush <laughs> past like that. <laughs> we've all, we've all I didn't brush, I just walked did. past. No, you brushed. There's no brushing about it. I just did. walked in like that. No, I went like that and no, I clicked in. You tended to brush. You oh. tended to brush, but never mind, anyway. Is this all the stuff? Yeah, well, if you don't mind, I, I, I want to do this. Your turn, is this what you do? Yeah, this is my turn, yes, I yes. do this, yes. Yeah. No, don't touch. Do you mind? Don't touch. Well, well, tell me what card I got if you're good at this. Well, I can't now because I'm doing this trick. Instead of doing this trick, the camera later. goes up. That'll be all right, all right. later. Well, a very good trick. It goes up in the air like that, turns over. Yeah, well, tell me what card I got, man. Would you put it in the box then? 